Greetings, Martin Grove, Iowa, uh, Illinois. <laughs> wow, I've been, I'm all over the map. I've been traveling so much. Greater Chicago area, also Des Plaines. Hope I'm saying these right. Park Ridge, Rosemont, Golf. Is there a city called Golf, or was that a golf course on the map? There's a rabbit. Um, Niles, Slyok, uh, Slyoki or something, and Glenview. Anyways, all these beautiful areas here uh, around Morton Grove, greater Chicago area. I'm a traveling Christian evangelist, and I come in the name of the Lord with a message. Repent and be baptized, for the kingdom of heaven is near. And uh, the message is very plain and simple that you need to confess your sins to Jesus, not to me, not even to a priest necessarily, but that's not wrong or bad, but I think you should always go straight to Jesus. And uh, you could also confess to others if that makes you feel better. And there's some biblical um, basis for that as well and but uh, mainly to Jesus and to say to Jesus I'm sorry for my sins thank you for dying to save me I welcome you into my heart and commit my life that's that's basic way to start off your life as a Christian it has to be sincere with integrity although sometimes people say it with sincerity and integrity and then later they fall away that doesn't mean you're being dishonest, it means you thought you were being sincere. And you got to try again, hopefully. God will give you a second chance. Unless you're intentionally saying it without sincerity. Then, then you're toying with God, and I don't think that's very smart. Um, and so, if you can say that right now, then I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are now a Christian. Congratulations. You're a Christian by virtue of your faith and commitment. Uh, the baptism is a symbol, a sign, a ceremony. Uh, a lot of people get baptized as infants as well, water and water baptism. Later you can get an adult water baptism. You might want to do that as well. Um, but it's the commitment that's the most important. Uh, it's like a contract. But it's not like something you want, you, you grudgingly need to do or have to do now that you're a Christian. So you want to do because you've overflowed with joy and gratitude because Jesus died on the cross for us, for our sins. And so that's a great thing. And, and if you don't feel that in your heart, then you're not convicted yet of your sin. And that's a problem. But you can still begin a life as a Christian, even if you don't have that, you know, because a lot of people are so-called good citizens, and they don't really get convicted of their sins very much, because they, they obey all the laws, pay all their taxes, their, their lawn is nicely mowed, and they shovel their snow and there's snow here in Chicago, et cetera, et cetera. They maintain a nice Midwest, middle class, even attending church every Sunday lifestyle. But And so it's hard for them, some, to realize how uh, depraved we are. We all are. Sometimes even prisoners uh, have an advantage in that regard. Some who have committed heinous crimes, they know how bad they are. But the irony is that the prisoner who's committed murder and the so-called good citizen who lives right here in this nice house uh, are on the same foot before God when it comes to confessing, repenting, and humbling oneself. And so I hope you can do that, will do that, and take it to heart and keep growing in Christ and start telling others the good news. You can do Christian fellowship and evangelism wherever you are, but also, of course, at church. That's where most people 
find that. And uh, but I encourage you to find a conservative church more than a uh, liberal. I, I encourage traditional values and protection of unborn life. And uh, and I'll leave it at that for now. So God be with you and bless you. And if you're already a Christian, you're giving it all you got, 110 percent. I just want to encourage you also to keep growing in, in Christ, doing your very best to fulfill the Great Commission as we're all called to do. And I'll be praying for all of you. God be with you and bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.